Hi and welcome back. I am going to be getting ready for the day. Um, I have to do nothing. Um, so I just figured I would film myself getting ready. We shall just have a little bit of fun with it this morning. I um, already went for my run. I got like three trophies on my Samsung Health, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I've been running now for got back into it for three three months i just hit my three month um mark last sunday so i'm finally to the point where i'm not like dying as i'm running anymore and i'm having to up my distance so that's kind of exciting I mean, you know i mean it, it takes a while i'm gonna pull my hair back it's you want to know a new like random favorite is scrunchies. I was kind of surprised that they brought them back, so to speak. Um, but these have been great. I don't have like this weird kink in my hair anymore, and they're so easy to use. That that little bun thing that I just did, my brother taught me that because he has like this beautiful long hair. Anyways works really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is prime my eyes with this Bare Minerals Gin Nude eyeshadow and primer. Um, this is the shade Undressed. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, <clears throat> but it's not like an overpowering shimmer. I was repurchasing my Bare Minerals concealer, and if you bought like, I don't know, $40 worth of Bare mineral stuff, but there was a free gift with purchase, and I was I'm almost done with Max Painterly anyways, so I picked up their primer and I really like it. It's a lot thinner than Painterly, and my eyeshadow doesn't get like super weird and funky on me whenever I use this bare minerals one. So once I'm done with the painterly, I'm not going to repurchase it for a while. I've went through I think I think three of them. I just kind of need a break from it. Because this is going to be a blush heavy look and I'm going to be using an Ofra highlighter that I got in the mail from Octoly, I'm going to keep my eyes very simple. So I'm going to use the Emily Edit, the Wants from Makeup Revolution. Um, this is a great palette. I don't care much for first impressions, but my first impressions of this palette is it's nice. Um, I wouldn't say that they're the greatest shadows in the world, but they're enjoyable, and I'm, I'm not mad at the ones that I have used so far. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to go into prayer. And I did notice that I have to um, not dig into the shadows, but pick up a little bit at a time and place, and then pick up a little bit more and place and blend as I go, and, and they work quite nicely. I'm using my same brush and my microfiber rag. I take off that excess powder and I'm going to go into the cream just to help blend out prayer a little bit. Just softens up the little, softens up the edges. And I'm going to use concealer. I have not been using foundation. I haven't had a need for it and I've kind of been enjoying my freckles, especially since I've been running and I do use sunscreen whenever I go, I go for my runs. Um, but my freckles have come back in full force this summer and it's kind of nice so I just put this concealer wherever I need to like spot conceal and then on my under eyes since I have fairly dark circles thank you daddy and then I have my baby beauty blender In my by Terry powder, I'll set the under eyes and then I'm gonna go in with Laura Mercier's powder. I'm 
just mattify my face a little bit. Um, Emily from Emily Concealer and Coffee. Um, she is the one that told me about the By Terry powder and girl, I love you for that because that is a great, great powder. I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer um, just, just because I like a little bit of bronzer makes my, especially since my hair is up so much now, um, it makes my head, I guess, not look so big. Or I just like the look that it gives, so there's that. Uh, because the prayer is a little bit of a warmer, like, I'm going to call it a peach brown, um, I'm going to take Clinique's ginger pop um there's a, a swatch of it it's girly type blush and i like the cheek pops because they you can build them up and blend them out really nicely i can't think of the word so it does take a little bit of extra product i think but um the formula of these just kind of melts into the skin and I tend to push it into my cheek and then swirl upwards. Kind of like whenever you're whisking um, like an egg with a egg beater type of thing. That's a little bit of the motion that I use. I'm happy and I like it more high up on my cheekbones um I've always really like blush and I've always applied it fairly heavily until I use Tarte Hourglass but I mean Tarte's um Expose which that freaking thing um so one day I went into Nordstrom and I was looking at the blushes at the matte counter and this girl's like, um, maybe you shouldn't wear so much blush. I walked away and I was like tearing up. I was really kind of upset because like, um, why would you say something like that to a potential customer? I wound, I, I wound up not even buying anything. I was pretty upset though. That girl doesn't work at that Nordstrom anymore, but I'm going to bring a little bit of it like that. Blend, 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 blend. There we go. All right. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Um, the nice thing about these Clinique uh, cheek pops too is that there's a little bit of a sheen to them, so you don't really need a highlight if you don't want to wear a highlighter. I am going to be using one today, though. This is a new to me. Highlighter. I did receive this from Octoly. When I saw it on um, the Octoly app, I was like, oh my goodness. I've been wanting to try the Ofra highlighters for a really long time. So thank you to Ofra and Octoly for sending this to me. Um, I did receive it for free in exchange for a review. Um, I got the shade Pillow Talk. I've used this a handful of times now, and I'm extremely impressed. Um, this is their new packaging. Whenever I had first seen that Ofra was rebranding, re like themselves. I wasn't super thrilled with the pictures that I saw online. I was like, mm, that looks kind of cheap looking. But once I got it in my hand, I was like, that is like super chic. Just like sleek and um, the, the weight on this is glorious. These are $29 on Ulta's website. I think that they're $35 on the Ofra.com website. Um, there's a code Ofra30 for 30% off an order. If you go through Ofra's website, all of that information is going to be linked down below. 
but I am super impressed with this. Um, every time that I have worn this, my highlight has been like on my face, even if my blush has worn away and it just is really pretty. I think Nikki Tutorials, this is a Nikki Tutorials club, but she is always like talking about like highlighting to the gods or whatever. Now I understand, but this is Pillow Talk and whenever I first got it, I wasn't really impressed. I thought it was gonna be like just another, just another highlighter. Even swatching it, I was just kind of like, meh, okay. And then I put it on my face. I was like, oh my God. The first time I put it on, like I did a terrible, terrible application. It looked terrible. It looked horrible, honestly. Um, but once I blended it out, I was like, dang. It will look like this all day. It's the craziest thing. Like you don't see it? Then you turn and I can you can see it. Um, it doesn't really feel like a powder. It feels more like liquid. And then it just kind of like melts into the skin. Um, it reminds me of the Natasha Denona, the her blush palette, like that just kind of like silky smooth formula. I mean, it's obviously a powder, but and it hasn't picked up on any of my texture. I admittedly don't have a ton of texture in my skin. Um, I really like how well it blends out though and then it's just kind of like a smooth transition as a move. But this is the only highlighter I've been wearing since I got it. I'm just thoroughly impressed with it. Um, they just came out with Cloud9 and Space Baby and I'm going to be buying Cloud9. It's in my Ulta cart right now. I'm just I'm trying to decide because Ulta's shipping is so slow. I don't know if I want to wait until we move that I purchase it or just order it now. I don't know, but I want it. I want to try more of these Ofra highlighters, and I'm now I'm curious to see if their liquid lips are any good. Um, I've heard good things about them. I have a friend on Instagram, uh, Melanin Makeup Nani. She, I think she's like an Ofra girl, and she's always posting swatches of. Ofra things. It's stunning. I'm so... I want everything now. But yeah, that's it. That's my review. I really like these. Um, I definitely want to get more. I know I'm not supposed to be buying highlighters right now, but it's so pretty. Alright, I'm going to go do my mascara, eyeliner, and eyebrows off camera, and then I will be back. I'm going to figure out something for my lips, so I will see you in a minute. Okay, so my eyebrows, I just fill in with the Anastasia powder. Um, I had bought the Flower Beauty Lash Wire Mascara, and, and I did like a first impressions on that, and I was kind of like iffy on it. Um, and then I reminded myself of why I don't like first impressions. Because now that I have been using, because now that I have been using this for, since that video, um, I'll link it down below. I can't, I think it was my fancy face one. Um, since I've been using this, I actually like the mascara a lot better. Um, it's nice on its own. It's it's dried up just a little bit. I think it was a little bit too wet in the beginning. So it's nice on its own, um, but I like it even more with Lancome Sills Booster underneath. I mean, it, it does a fine job on its own, but um, for me, a lot of mascaras are always better with Sills Booster on the bottom of it. I don't know. Um, so I really actually enjoy this mascara and um, I'm gonna keep using it and I would probably repurchase it in the future even though Lancome mascaras are my favorite. Um, they're a little bit pricey. I wanted to show you guys up close what the Ofra highlight looks like. Yes, um, I'm feeling like I need a little bit of something on my inner corner since I don't have a whole lot of eyeshadow on at all. So I'm just going to take the highlighter again in the same brush I was using earlier and put a little bit right there just to brighten that up. For my lips, I had picked up Joseph Colors Lazy Daisy. 
I literally picked it up because of the name. Um, I really like their liquid lipsticks. I like their applicator too. They, it, they hug the lips really nicely and I don't know. The felt on these is really soft. Is that a weird something? Look at that. <laughs> be all like Kardashian up in here. Okay, that is my final look for my heavy blush look. Um, it's actually not as heavy as I was thinking it would be, but I didn't want to look like a complete clown. Um, it's still a lot heavier than I would maybe normally do, and um, I kind of went ham on the highlight, so... I don't know. I feel pretty and I think that's the whole point of makeup sometimes is just to make yourself feel good. So there's that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was kind of helpful in any realm of anything. Is that? All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Um, also, I got my ears pierced again. My daughter had wanted her top ones done, and so I was like, yeah, sure, let's go. And I was like, eh, screw it, I'll get mine done too. So now I have five bottoms on each side, and then one over here and two over here. I want more. I don't know. Eventually. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. I'm use my poof today, because... I can't remember, I've been having a hard time remembering what I've been putting this powder on with, whether it be the poof or, you know what, I think it's a brush actually. Oh well.